and welcome back to this, the most fa- Gunolf! What are you doing here? You're fucking dead, mate! Ah! They expected him to survive, I guess. I'm just a fucking retard, apparently. Alright, boys, let's go. You got this. Balawa. The Sunder seems practically unkillable. Quake and Despair stuns one target and pushes all enemies back. What's your walking range? Well, I, I should... I would want to charge in, but I'm actually going to play it smart. Come on. Come to me, you big bitch. Now I'm not using up all my... all my fucking memes when I do this. Battering Ram, bitch! Actually, do I just fucking attack him for all I've got? Oh, uh, hold on. Wait, how many? How much can you move? Are there any? So maybe if I actually push him, keep pushing him back, I might actually be able to do something. Hold on. Hold on here. Hold on just a moment. Oh, I only did one. Oh my Jesus. Ow. Ow. Owie, I regret everything. Oh, that was actually pretty pathetic. Oh, never mind, it skipped my turn. Yeah, that was, uh, that was inevitable. Shit. Oh, he's only injured? I thought that's, that was like it. I wonder if it's actually possible to beat that. Let me look that up quickly. This one unwinnable fight is not counted in achievement purposes. However, I did run after the patch went online and never lost a fight except this one and still didn't get it. Okay. Well, shit. So I was meant to lose that one. Hold on. What happens if we kill Bellowa? in the Ivor last stand. I don't think you can kill him without some sort of cheating, e.g. through the console, but even if you do kill him, I guess the game will either crash or continue as if he killed you. Um, within normal gameplay, it's not actually possible because Bellowa regenerates to full every time he's tur he takes his turn. God fucking damn. Yeah, so, uh, not a possible fight to win. Good shit. Ivor writhes in agony, his arm torn clear off by the Bellower's, by Bellower's onslaught. The Sundeer raises his weapon for the killing blow. Sundeer, face me! Screams an uncertain Ivan, stepping back onto the bridge, raising his staff high. Even from here, you can see his arm trembling. You feel practically frozen in place, watching. Gunnolf, I see you there! What are you doing? You're fucking dead, mate! Ivan recoils, recoils in terror from the massive serpent that has appeared in the distance, and even the Bellowa backs away. It leans in close to inspect the two armies and flicks its great tongue, and then indifferently launches over the mountainside out of sight. It's like, yo, the little people are fighting. That's cute. The dredge are a knot of confusion. Some cower, others crouch in what looks like worship. Hakon shouts orders in the din. Val rush forward, blowing over, bowling, up, blow, bowling over the surprised dredge, gaining ground. Bellower has receded back into the horde. John Deere watches from atop the stairs. Hurry, says Ivind, 
suddenly pulling at your arm, snapping at you to get out of the moment. Uh, snapping you out of the moment. You rush to Ivor, lying on the ground amidst the fighting, still breathing despite missing an arm, and drag him back to the city. Can you save? Yes, probably. Give me silence. Nearly three hours pass silently as Ivan plies his trade. Flesh f slowly forms and closes across Ivor's torn flat frame. What the fuck? That's as much as I can do. He should make it. Thank you. The mender looks exhausted, leaning heavily against the bed. When was the last time you slept? A couple of days ago. I'm okay. I just need to sit. Before you can catch him, the mender crumbles to the floor. Exe milk. Your sight swims as if underwater. Memories fly away like startled ravens before you can recapture them. With great effort, you remember who you are. Juno. Do you know who I am? No clue. Yo, that looks sick, dude. Well, whatever. Uh, you also realize that a monumental serpent is speaking to you now. Your last certainty was that you had died some time ago. And that is about to happen again. Oh, this is the female mender. Yo! No fucks given! Eat a bag of dicks, giant snake. Dormammu! I've come to bargain. For us. You are slow to understand the serpent. It speaks in a language that recalls many ancient memories of words you learned long ago. If you are not going to die, I suppose we must speak instead. Who are you? My name is Juno. You are a Juno? It means nothing to me. Maybe I have asked the wrong question. What are you? What is your purpose? What is your favorite color? I am a Mender. Mender? Ah, Valka. Now the picture is forming. Do you not know me, Valka? Though your memory is still fuzzy, you are certain you know nothing about an enormous serpent. What do your prophecies say? The gods gave you prophecy, fate, destiny. Is there no child coming to slay me with a magic sword? Are there no stars in the sky? Foretelling this disaster. Do you truly not know? The gods are dead. Dead? How is that? Are you a god? No. The gods are silent. And before me stands one who knows not what they have done. Listen carefully now, for I will give you a prophecy. I am the end. Do you understand? This world and this tapestry, I will devour. It is my purpose. But I cannot. Instead, now comes a wall of night to consume your pitiful world. Okay. Just a guess here. This guy was created to be the natural end to the world as the gods got bored. They're bo the gods are bored, they fucked off, they created this snake as an apocalypse. But the snake was self-aware and didn't want to destroy the world, so the gods were like, Well, fuck you, if you're not going to destroy the world, I guess we'll stop the sun. That makes sense, right? Because it's going to make eternal night. Everything's just going to keep getting colder the longer the sun has stopped. 
I was wondering why there was no day and night cycle in the game, and I just realised it's because the sun's fucking stopped. Wall of night, the dredge, dredge, stone men marching across a long bridge. No, it is darkness. The egg white that has turned black. I am meant to devour the tapestry itself, not idly witness the dusk smother this rock. I am incomplete, a worm crawling through a dung field because of you. Who are you to take my destiny? What are you? Return what is mine! Yeah. Okay, try that again, because that worked so well on the first time. Just eat her, dude. Just fucking eat her. Ivan. Juno. You're alive. You're, you're alive. How? Where are you? Wait, where am I? Asleep, I presume, or unconscious. I'm in Ridgehorn, I think. A serpent was trying to kill me. Now I'm talking to you. Time is moving strangely. I've lost swaths of memories. But I found you, for a short time at least. The serpent said something about a long bridge, so I took a guess. It came after you? We saw it at Inertoft. Are you okay? It tried to turn me to ash after we spoke. I'd be surprised if that's the last we've seen of it. It could tear the land apart or crush cities if it wanted. What do we do? It got worse. A prophecy of the gods I have never heard of. There are still prophecies out there? It was vague. Something that sounded like a serp that serpent was supposed to swallow the world. Instead, some kind of darkness or nothingness is seeping from the north. It devours whatever it touches. That would explain why the dredge are swarming us on something like something that kicked an anthill. Ivan, are you in danger? You could say so. Bellower is here. The Vala holding him off. But not for much longer. I think of all the Sundir. Why the immortal one? Bellower, that is the worst of luck. I would have you come to me, but... You will have to do this the hard way. Listen closely. I will return to Strand and find passage down the Red River. You must leave Einertoft and meet me in Sigurholm. Juno, we'll never make it to Sigurholm. Bellower is about to overtake us. The Vile won't listen to a thing. I... Find a way. Do whatever it takes. I'll not be able to contact you again before Sigurholm. Go. And Ivand. Yes? I love you. Yay. You've spent a lot of time next to him since he passed out. Just keeping an eye on him. It's not like that, Dad. He saved Ivor. He might save the rest of us. Can he hear us? He just moved. Uh, how long was I? You were out a couple of days. How do you feel? Juno, she's alive. I need to meet her in Sigurholm. Hold on, hold, slow down. Who's Juno? She's my mentor on the Mender Council. She contacted me. Contacted you how? She's not like most Menders. What happened since I passed out? The Vala holding the dredge back, just barely. Bellower has disappeared. Ivor is still out of it. Jondo sent Hakon, Ludin, and a couple hundred Val away to Aberang. But I don't know how long we'll be able to hold out here. Rook, I need you to I need your help. Take me to Sigurholm. Juno is going to meet us there. Sigurholm? That's got to be a week away. At least. And just abandon Einertoft? Maybe, or no. I could destroy that godforsaken bridge myself. That would delay the immediate threat. But John Deere would never agree to it. I need to understand a few things, Ivind. Why won't the Val King destroy the bridge? I can't understand entirely, I completely understand it myself. The last time I mentioned it, he made my, his mind very clear. He'll let the city and the rest of the world fall before that damn bridge. What do we do about Bellower? I can't stop him, but I believe Juno can. That's why we need to go. We could just leave. And let the Vile die to give us a head start. It's not my first choice. I've done everything I can on my own. 
What is going on here? Look, I know things are... It's, it's a long story. How well do you know history? We're from a very small town in the woods. I'll keep it short. You know how men and Val were made, the Loon Mother and the other gods? In the First Great War, the armies of men and Val hated each other. They fought bitterly for land and dominance. Then, one of the gods created the Dredge. They were such a threat that unless men and Val set aside their dis differences, they threatened to wipe out both races. So they did. They ended the war, pushed the Dredge into the north, and formed an alliance that has held ever since. The Second Great War began generations later. The Dredge rallied their forces, defeated the Val, who watched the borders, and laid waste to unsuspecting settlements throughout the world. They were led by Sundir, powerful Dredge warlords and weavers, like Bellower. He was there in the Great Second War. Humanity was on the brink of extinction when the inner circle of Menders went forth and finally sent the Sundir and the Dredge deep underground. For the most part, the Dredge haven't tried to return since. Well, until now. Those Menders were called Valka. Juno wasn't there herself, but she is from their bloodline. So another great war has begun. If I didn't think the world was ending, it would be incredible. Ancient history is playing out right before us. What about the serpent? There is another story. I. There's nothing in the Menders' libraries about that thing. It must have something to do with the dredge returning. That seems likely. How would you collapse that bridge by yourself? Not by myself. I could blast it apart, but this bridge wasn't made to fall. It'll take time and concentration. That's why I need your help. And the Vile will try to stop me. It could mean tr holding off both Dredge and the Vile. I need time to think about this. I understand. Be quick, Rook. There has to be some way to... Ugh. I can't believe the Vile would be so stubborn. Speak to John Doe yourself. He's in the Great Hall. Maybe you'll have more luck. Or maybe he'll put your head on a spike. Rook, I hate to put all this on your shoulders, but I've got few friends here. Come to a decision quickly. Either way, we can't stay. We'll have to make it to Sigurholm. Juno will know what to do. Uh, yeah, let's convince them. Let's try and convince. Uh, I haven't got any level 1 heroes needing promoting to level 2. Don't think so, and even if I did, I'd probably want to... Why did I lose half my party? Oh yeah, big guy's dead. Uh, he's level 1, but he can't get to level 2. I killed should have been there, why wasn't he there? Oh man, this sucks. What's my fucking... Oh, I didn't lose it. to the Great Hall, we've got enough time for a little bit more. You'll do as I say. I'm not here to argue. I'm telling you we're dying by the dozens every day now. You sent our best away with Hakon. How long do you expect us to last? You asked for this command, Fessalt. Don't let them get across the bridge. Fessalt takes his leave as you approach. Not great timing, you think to yourself. Thank you for your audience. I forget your name. Rook. Rook. How is Yungvar? Will he survive? I think so. Ah, if I remember Yungvar well enough, he hasn't told you why he faced down Bellowa, did he? No, he keeps things to himself. Yes, that sounds right. Yungvar confronted a Sundir in his youth during the Great Wars. He won that fight. None others but the Memders have done that. He proved us stronger. Maybe he thought to do it again. Ivar killed a Sunder? How did he end up in Skoger? You'll have to pry him for that yourself. I don't know. He disappeared when the last king tried to make him Kendir. It occurs to you that Jondir would not be on the throne now had that happened. But why are you here, Rook? Be brief. I'm offering to take apart the bridge. 
human. If there is one more mention of that bridge... John Deere's mood changes almost instantly. If you have nothing else to say, then get out of my damned hall. We are all at stake here. Oh, you have the answers. Wonderful. Come sit upon my throne. Every man I've ever met thinks he'd rival the gods by himself if only he were in charge. I'm only 400 years old. I know that I know a little. You are a child, an infant, yet you know everything. Listen, human, this story is not about you. If you jump from that bridge today, the world would not change. Now either help Fassel to retake it or leave my city. I don't care which. Guards are quick to usher you from the Great Hall. You don't resist. <sighs> Fuck it. Hero mode. Let's go, boys. At the war front, Rosa Vala lined up, waiting for their turn to fill in as the warriors on the bridge battle dredge in one endless churn of blood and bodies. Fasolt catches your eye in between giving orders. You lost, human, he says. Offer to help. Fair enough, Fasolt admits. I'm not going to argue against putting you on the bridge, he says. But we've got plenty of wounded here as well, if you can work a needle. Ah, uh, we'll fight. Fasolt nods and puts you in line with the others. Don't be a hero, he grunts. Kill a few and come back alive. A slow terror starts to creep in from waiting to go into battle, but eventually you find yourself face to face with rows of dredge packs shoulder to shoulder. This may be it, boys. I'm ready for battle. Why is Rook first? Did I actually move him to the front? I didn't even see that. Fuck. Alright, we'll wait for them to come to us, I guess. How many slinger? Oh, this these are slinger though. He goes there, he goes there, they can take him out. Oh yeah, he's an archer though, isn't he? Super turn. Uh, how long is, Ill is the range on? I'm clanking. Alright, we'll have to get a bit closer. Ah, uh, fuck it. If he's getting hit, at least it's by something slightly weaker. Oh, fuck! Never mind. Alright. Fuck, fuck, fuck. He actually still has to break armor. <laughs> a lot of armor this guy's got. Very good. Uh, this kind of sucks. I'm going to have to thread the needle, aren't I? I want to thread the needle. Because I want to be able to deal both damage and... Armor. Yeah. Not particularly a good uh, ability to use here, but it needed to be used. And let's rain of arrows here. Kermit. Oh yeah. He's not very strong. That's seventy percent to deal two damage. I'll take it. Boom! Eat shit! I now know where the strength of that ability comes from. Alright, yeah. Eat a dick. Man, look at all this armor damage. You guys suck. Uh, it's Rick again. Uh, are these two in range to deal damage to him? I think she is. I 
guess I might as well. Actually, you know what? Let's bug this guy. Oh, this guy's the guy that needed to take damage. My bad. Ouch. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, fuck it. He's not in any... Oh, he's got seven armor left. That's not good, actually. I'm probably going to restore armor to myself. Can I not do it myself? Fuck, I can't mend myself. Fuck, dude. Yo! What a fucking god! <laughs> I think I can allow him to take some damage. Especially with that in mind. Yeah, that's fine. This guy needs to take some damage. Well, yeah, I figures. I hit the 20%, so I have to miss the 40%, of course. I mean, I kind of want to just keep uh, tapping this guy down. Might as well, right? It's a 70% chance. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Stop. Ouch. Yeah, I resist that, bitch. Time to get fucking wrecked, son! Oh! Whoa! Oh, I did not see that! I am retarded. That's my bad. I was not paying attention there. It's fine. It's fine. No, you're still a thing. I forgot about you. I mean... I wanted to use his ability, but that would go on to him. Wait, what if she just goes here? And that's why I leveled her up. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm probably going to pump more levels into her. Actually, we'll probably pump a level into it. Alright, we'll see. We'll see. If this hits, she deserves the level. Nope. If this hits, you deserve the level. Okay, you, get, you get the level. Oh no, not even a level. That was only the first kill. Right, I think that's, um, I think we're going to have to call that one an episode there after this cutscene. Uh, you'd swear that the fighting is getting more vicious and dangerous. Again, you let the next nine of Val push into battle when you don't dare risk it anymore. Come back tomorrow if you're looking for more, says Fastos. You sleep poorly. I have been suggestion to collapse the bridge keeps repeating in your mind. You know what? You know what? We're just going to keep doing this and see how much we can grind out here. 
I presume that this is just a really poor idea. But I'll be damned if it doesn't sound fun. So, with that, I'll see you in the next episode that is going to be The Big Grind.